Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my Mecca fantasy cart. So this is um, kind of a little twist on Emily Noel's uh, $1,000 Sephora fantasy cart or fantasy basket. Um, I did do one of them. I will link it up there, down there, everywhere. Not really everywhere, just up there and down there. Um, but I thought that it would be a little bit more appropriate to do a Mecca fantasy basket because Mecca is probably our biggest beauty, like, standalone retailer in Australia. They were here before Sephora. And I honestly think they still surpass Sephora. They do for me at least by a lot. I don't know what the actual numbers are in Australia, but um, yeah, I uh, Mecca is like my one love, my one true love. However, actually, let's have a little discussion. I was going to purchase something that is um, in my fantasy basket um, to get my beauty loop box delivered. Now, if you don't know anything about Mecca, a beauty loop box is essentially uh, part of their reward system. So the more you spend at Mecca, the higher um, you become in the reward system tiers and uh, you get sample boxes every, I think it's every quarter or maybe it's only three times a year. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, for years and years and years, I was a level three. I was getting the boxes. Um, and because we're in lockdown, I'm not going to go into store to get a box. Like, it's not necessary. It's a little box of samples. Um, so I thought what I'll do is I'll order an item that I've been keen on. Like, I've been waiting for it to release. And um, I'll get that and my beauty loot box. I'll deliver it with my product that I purchased. But I went online to buy the item when uh, Beauty Loop boxes released and I realized that I don't even qualify for level one anymore. Oh, so there we go. Um, my purchases from Mecca have dipped significantly. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and that's like, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's actually what I was going for this year. Stop buying so much fucking makeup. I have so much makeup and I, I just want to buy the things that I'm really excited about. So I didn't buy the item. I'll let you guys know what it is when we get to it in the list. Um, and I thought, you know, that's good. It, it, I've, I've achieved something that I wanted to achieve this year, which is buy less makeup. So I'm actually really proud of myself. Although my spend has been extremely low at Mecca in the last 12 months, that does not mean that I don't love Mecca and have a lot of things on my wish list. Um, there's actually like 49 things. This video is going to be long. It's just going to be long. It's going to be feature length. Go and get a snack. Get yourself a wine if you want or a cup of tea or a coffee or get yourself situated to do your makeup whatever you want whatever makes you happy get comfy and let's get into it i'm gonna start with skincare the first item on my list was one that i discovered just while browsing their website it's from a brand called a pot care uh it's the anti-pollution jelly cleanser this is 52 dollars um it looks really interesting. The texture of it in the bottle looks really interesting. I also looked up some other images to see what this looks like outside of like the marketing images and it still looks interesting. I want to have a look out for this when I'm next in store which to be honest it'll probably be 2021 at this rate but I'm kind of interested in this. Um, it's got four and a half star reviews or rating. Um, and I would, I would, I would spend that. I would spend that. I've got a couple of things from Glow Recipe on my wish list. Uh, the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser is one and all the, bleh, also the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. I want them both. I want them both. I know they are also coming out with like a papaya enzyme cleansing balm, which I just spotted very recently, and I want that too. 
It's not at Mecca yet, but goddamn, I want them. I want them all. And uh, once I can sort of work my way through a few more skincare products, um, I should actually be in a position where I can justify buying something like this. Specifically, I think I'm getting close to being like kind of low on um, standard cleansers. How did that happen? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Uh, so those two things, the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream and the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser, both on my wish list. Um, there is another skincare brand that I am... Mm, I really want to try a lot of things from this brand and as soon as I mention it I know there's going to be comments about drama. <laughs> Brace myself. Uh, Sunday Riley. Mm, yep, Sunday Riley. So if you don't know about the drama around Sunday Riley um, it's basically they were busted like um, publishing fake reviews essentially. Um, so I do know about it. You don't need to like explain it to me in the comments. Uh, and it, like it, it's some bullshit. It's some bullshit and it's dodgy, but I got, I gotta say, and this does not excuse it. Um, heaps of brands do it. <laughs> Isn't that bad? That's so fucked. Can't trust anyone. Uh, anyway, I, uh, when it comes to skincare, I'm always, uh, one of those people who I like to just try it for myself. I like to try it for myself and see what it's like. Uh, I really do get a kick out of trying very expensive skincare products um, to see how they perform. And then as I go through life using other less expensive skincare products, um, I can often be like, hey, that's like, that's a good dupe for blah that cost three times more that I use. So I like to try them for myself. Um, and I think, you know, you can look up reviews for skincare products that are really expensive and then try to find dupes. But the fact is that uh, everyone's skin responds differently to all sorts of things. So if person X um, loves, I don't know, a $300 serum, but then they find one for $35 and they think they're like basically dupes it doesn't necessarily it's going to work the same way for me so you know it's one of those things where you just have to try it yourself and Sunday Riley have a lot of things that have been on my wish list for a long time um the Luna Sleeping Night Oil is one of those products along with the uh Juno Antioxidant Superfood Facial Oil god damn $115 for a fucking face oil Ooh, um, the Luna is $168 in Australia. I also want to try the uh, A plus high dose retinoid serum. This is $195. I'd like to compare that to the Luna sleeping oil because they're both retinol products. Also the Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm, $80. $80. Um, and of course, Good Genes, the lactic acid treatment. I have actually never tried that. I've like played with it, but I've never used it on my face. That's $195 in Australia. So they're all like excessively expensive things. I have considered picking up um, one of the mini packs that Sunday Riley tend to do. Um, but I, I'm also like, I feel like... <sighs> I feel like with skincare, minis are good for working out if the product's going to break you out, but it's not good for actually working out if they're effective. Like, you have to use skincare, I personally feel like I have to use skincare for at least two months before I can judge whether it's a good product, it's just a eh, whatever product, or it's not effective at all. Um, so, to be honest, I'd be more inclined to just purchase the full sizes and try them. Tatcha. So I'm really intrigued by Tatcha. Um, I have quite a few of their products, to be fair. Uh, but I find what I do with them is I, I purchase them and I try them. And then I squirrel away the ones that I love. Because I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to go through this and then go backwards trying to like use up 
other stuff that's not quite as nice. Um, and I'm not, I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, I love this extremely expensive moisturizer. Let me declutter every other moisturizer I have. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not made of money. Um, and then I have a few touch of products that I've used and I haven't been super impressed with. So I've put them aside to like play with other stuff. So, you know, touch a, it's one of, the, it's a bit hit and miss for me, but there are still some things that I'm really interested in trying one day. Um, the One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil is one of those products. It's $77 for 150 mil. It's not cheap. It's definitely not cheap. Um, and then there is the Kisu Lip Mask and the Gold Spun Camellia Lip Balm. Now, I've tried the lip mask and I like it, but sh bitch, she expensive. She's so expensive. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's really nice and it works. However, I know that there are very comparable products. I would say that if you are rolling in the dosh and you want a really bougie, like, gorgeous glossy lip product that you can wear sleeping if you want wear it to bed I mean you do you boo um but more for like wearing out that's just going to make your lips look glossy and hydrated and sexy as fuck like go for it 45 bucks hell if I had you know unlimited money to blow on this stuff I'd buy it I would Definitely. Uh, and I'd try the lip balm too, the Camellia Goldspun uh, lip balm. It's $48. It's only six grams of product. Whew. Ah. Anyway, it's a thing. I'd try it. I want to know if it's good. Okay, this is my last skincare item and people might be surprised about this um, because I, I bitch about these types of products anytime I am given the opportunity to um but I've actually tried these ones and they are fucking amazing these are the new face prep and glow cleanse exfoliate and hydrate textured cleansing cloths so you can get these in a pack I think you can get them in a pack of five for something dollars and 20 for 32 dollars I'd buy the 20 pack um these are not the sort of thing that I would want to use every day at all um, but I had two of these as samples and one of them I used I think I took it to Bali like a hundred years ago or maybe not maybe I just used it somewhere anyway I can't remember all I know is holy shit it was so good uh, the removal of makeup was outstanding like I don't think I've seen a makeup wipe remove makeup so quickly before whatever is on the cloth that's breaking down makeup it's super effective so it's not like you take this cloth and then you're like wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe no no it's sort of like wipe holy shit that's a lot of makeup and then you might like wipe off a little bit of extra and your skin is fucking clean so good and the exfoliate side quite impressive not like not overly scrubby I'm not talking about like apricot scrub from St. Ives um I'm talking more like gentle but effective I really liked these I would totally buy a packet of these to just have them like if I come home okay this is not happening anytime soon but hey this has been a part of my life in the past if I was coming home at four o'clock in the morning after being out clubbing with my friends I don't want to be at the sink trying to stand up straight while I'm drunk washing my makeup off. Like, it's not a good time. That's where something like this would come in handy. I really like these. They're a fantastic product. 4.4 stars with 126 reviews. That's a legit. I believe it. They're good. And I, I want a packet of them. Oh, okay. The next category is like some candle-y things. I was going to say fragrance. Oh, well... Look, I've got two candles and then something totally ridiculous. Um, Fornicetti. Fornicetti. So these guys make candles. And they are just a lot. They're a lot. So the one that I chose was the Labra candle. This is 302 Australian dollars. 
Um, and the reason why I chose this one is because I like the pattern on the candle. Now, I have smelt these Fornicetti candles in Mecca. And they're nice, but they're not like, they're not what I want from a candle scent. And they're huge. Most of their candles are massive. They have candles that retail for nearly a thousand dollars. They're like nine hundred dollars or something. And they're gigantic. But, like, mm. if I had the money to burn, I would buy one just so I could say I had one. Like, that's, that's all it is. That's all it is. Look at my fucking $300 candle. Look at my $1,000 candle. That's so... The, those words sound so absurd to me. Coming out of my fucking mouth. It would never happen. Even if I had the money, I'm, I'm not even sure that I would physically be able to do that. Ugh, but this one. This one's even worse. This is from Diptyque. So this is the large outdoor candle. It is $426 and the reason why I chose this one is because it's black and that is my aesthetic. Um, how is this low in stock? Uh, what are people doing? Um, this has a five star rating with one review. Fuck man, somebody spent some dosh to get that. It's a sexy looking candle though. I want it, but I don't want to pay for it. I think that's, that's, yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. Okay, and the last thing in this sort of category is also from Diptyque. And it's ridiculous! It's soap on a rope. It's 80 bucks. <laughs> this is absurd. $80 for soap on a rope. Can you believe that? Look, I wouldn't. But eight people have reviewed this. That's a minimum of eight people spending $80 for soap on a rope. <laughs> what? I love it. I love it. I don't even use soap. It's so funny. I would buy this and I'd put it in the shower and not a single person would use it because they're like, oh, well, that's Haley's. So, you know, don't, don't use Haley's soap. And like sharing soap, bar soap, nobody does that. That's revolting. They know it's mine, because no one else, like, people in my house just want fucking Dove beauty bars. They don't want this fucking $80 soap on a rope thing. So this would literally sit in my shower for a year and slowly dissolve under running water. Best 80 bucks I ever spent. Ooh, buddy. Okay. We transitioned that well. Good on me. Uh, Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. What is it with this brand? It's so like, I don't know, they just get me. I feel like there's a lot of hype. Like, whenever you hear people talk about this brand, they're like, oh my god, I love their moisturizer. The Boom Boom Cream is amazing. And it's nice, but if you don't like that scent, you would hate it. You would hate that product because the scent is strong. I don't mind it. I like it. I'm not obsessed with it though. But there's a few things that I want to try from this brand. So what can I say? Um, the Coco Cabana Cream Plush Moisture Body Blend. I have actually smelt this in store and I don't mind the scent, but it's not amazing. But I still want it. It's 32 bucks. 75 mils. It's not a lot. Um, I also want to try their... Uh, Brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel. This is $40 for 385 ml. They're sold out online, so that it it's obviously popular. 4.8 stars, 87 reviews. People love it. Oh, 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 and I really want to try their shampoo and conditioner. So there's the Brazilian Joya strengthening and smoothing shampoo and conditioner. These are $40 each, 295 mil. One day I will try these, for sure. One day I'll try them. I've got a crap ton of shampoo and conditioners in my stash and I'm slowly working my way through the ones that I like and decluttering the ones that I don't. So I'm getting through it. I'm like, you know, getting there and one day I will definitely try these. I am curious. I love trying new hair products. Man, I'm so annoyed I didn't buy this. So annoyed. 
So this is a by Terry T to Tan face and body. This is $133. Now this, I saw this go live on the Mecca website a while ago. At least, God, it's pro to be fair, it's probably like two months ago. At least a month ago. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I really want to try that. It looks beautiful, but it's winter here and a million other excuses in my head and it's expensive and like all that jazz and I didn't buy it and now it's out of stock and I don't know if it's going to come back it's probably not because I'm pretty sure they just like re-release it every year but it's always in winter our time so eventually I'm just going to have to buy it in winter to have it for fucking summer in our time zone uh, but I want this I can get a mini of this they had a mini available, but let's be real. I, I, I want the big one. <laughs> oh, Christ. Shantakai. It's another really expensive one. I want one of their Radiance. Oh, I hate this name. It's so hard to say. My brain is just like, nope, nope, nope. Uh, chic, Cheek and Highlighter Duo. So, I want the one in Coral. With the stingray on top. Uh, because she beautiful. It's like a coral blush. Huda, and uh, like pale sort of pearl gold highlighter. Stunning. Why are you $135? Five star review from one person. Look. I wonder if they're just biased because they're bougie. Or if it's actually worth that five stars. I will never know. I will never know because I'm probably not going to spend $135 on a fucking blush and highlighter. Something I'm sure one day I will cave and buy from Shantakai is one of their philanthropy cheek colours. So the one that I have here is Bliss. It's got the um, butterfly on it. This is $64 for a tiny amount of product, 2.5 grams. Um, these have pretty good reviews as well. 4.8 stars 20 reviews they do have an array of colors um and whenever you buy one of these a part of the proceeds goes to um like a cause that supports the animal or the instinct in instinct insect uh that's like on the represented by the makeup product so i think that's really good they are really beautiful. The packaging is sturdy. You could probably knock someone out if you hit them in the head with it. Um, one day, there's something climbing on my roof. Can you hear it? It's probably a cat. Okay, let's talk about Ciate. Oh, I, I have a, a strange relationship with Ciate. I would say it's love-hate, but I think it's more like curiosity hate. I think that's a bit more fair. Every time I buy one of their products, I'm like, eh, it's all right. But I'm always sucked in. They've always got something in their range where I'm like, oh, I really want to try that. I want to buy that. That looks, that looks lovely. And the things that have got me like, Mm, wondering at the moment is a dewy blush so this is a glossy cheek tint this has one five star review I don't trust that at all I don't trust it but I still want to try it this is $35 why is this $35 and to be fair why are there fruit burst lip oils $25. These are also on my list, by the way, all three of them. I want lychee and acai, mango and lime and yuzu and grapefruit. And why are they 25 fucking dollars? Oh, they are 10 mil. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. 10 mil. That's pretty. They're going to last like a hundred goddamn years. Look, I want them. I think I want to try the glossy cheek tint as well. But I do want to see it in store, which means you're just going to have to stick around until 2021. Ah, Hourglass. 
we're not surprised to have Hourglass on the list and I got quite a few things. Um, something that I have been curious about for like forever since it released uh, is the Curator Realist Defining Mascara. Now this particular product is sold as two pieces. You get the, uh, the formula which comes in a little bottle. I'm putting a picture somewhere. I don't know what side I'm putting it on, but I'm putting it somewhere. This is $58. And then there is the Curator Lash Instrument. So the lash instrument is essentially your, your wand. This is made of, um, it's metal and it's gold plated, essentially. Now the formula is $58, <laughs> 1.9 star. 1.9, not even two stars for their review. Whew. There you go, that was brutal. Uh, and then the instrument is $125. But this is washable. Like you you buy this once and it lasts you forever. Uh, this has 3.9 stars with seven reviews. Cool thing about this is it looks like, hang on, it looks like one of the Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim lipsticks when you've got like the cap on it. Um, and then when you take the cap off, it's like a fucking torture weapon, essentially. Um, I, okay, here's the thing with this. I want to try this, but I don't want to buy it because I know that it's not going to be worth its price tag. Like, it's just not nearly $200. No, hun. No. But I still want to try it. Which is why it's in my fantasy basket. Fantasy card. Because this is a fantasy. Okay, the thing that I was going to buy to get my beauty loot box was the Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara. So this is $46. It is Hourglass's newest mascara to their range. This is actually a tubing formula, which is awesome. Um, if you like tubing mascaras, Hourglass now has one. Now, like I said, I was going to buy this to get my beauty loot box, uh, but when I realized I didn't qualify for a beauty loot box, I thought, well, there's no point in me buying it right now. I can wait. It's not a limited edition product that I'm like definitely certain that I want to purchase. This is something that they're adding to their collection of products and it will be there when I'm ready for it. So this is a definite purchase one day, along with the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. Huh! This was another one that I had to like rein myself right in. Um, when this released, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, one of my favorite brands releasing one of my favorite type of products just take my money um but i didn't do it i didn't do it because i've got like i don't know 70 or 80 setting sprays i don't know something like that legitimately i have that amount um so i was like just breathe and don't do anything stupid this is 77 dollars. it has a 4.3 star rating with 15 reviews that's pretty good that's not bad. Um, one day I will buy this. One day. I will. I know I will. I really like Hourglass. Oh, another thing from Hourglass and another one day I will buy this item. Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Concealer. This is $54. It seems to have good reviews as well. 4.4 uh, stars. 79 reviews. So a lot of people have purchased this. Um, yeah, I really want to try this. I'm sort of on the, the eternal hunt for the best concealer for my skin at this particular time. I haven't found it yet, um, but you know, one day we'll get there. The last thing from Hourglass, man, you can tell I love this brand, more Confession Ultra Slim lipsticks. So from their original release of this particular product, um, I purchased pretty much all the shades that I like. There's still a couple that I like, but I was like, they're, you know, they're a bit pricey and I don't need to own all of them. Uh, I also bought a bunch of their holiday ones. And then I think it was earlier this year, late last year, I don't know, some stage they released some new shades. I think it was 10, something like that, around that amount. And Pretty much all of them are nudes. And I think there's a really beautiful, like, 
orangey red and then maybe a couple of pinky ones and some darker ones uh, but I want all of them not really more nudes I want more nudes um, so these are on my wish list I don't know how many exactly I would want again it's the sort of thing where I want to like swatch them in store um, I want to like take photos of swatches of the ones I've got so I can like compare them and stuff like that um, but these are on my wish list and I will most likely buy more of these when we have more freedom to go into the shops uh, but for now it's corona season and I'm staying home all right let's move into Jouer um, I want to try the soft focus hydrate and set powder uh, the reason I want to try it is because it says hydrate and I have dry skin. Um, have you guys tried this? If you've tried this, let me know what you think um, because I want it. I want it a lot. It's $48. It's got four star review. Jouer has um, only really come to Mecca sort of, I think it came like late last year. Um... I don't know, time goes by really quickly now. So sometimes when I think things were not that long ago, it turns out it was like five years ago. Uh, but no, they've not been here for five years. Um, but they are like, they're spreading their wings in Australia through Mecca, which is fantastic. I want this. I want to try it. Is it good? I have two other things from Jouer that I'm interested in trying. The Essential Hydrating Lip oil. Uh, this has 4.3 stars with only three reviews but that seems pretty good. I love these types of lip products. Anything hydrating, glossy, moisturizing, like give it, give me all of them. Okay, just every single one please and thank you. Um, that's something I will eventually buy one day for sure. I'm sure of it. Um, and a sheer pigment lip gloss. Now, I... what do I have? Okay, so I have a lip topper in Skinny Dip and I have a Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss in Diamond Walk. The one that caught my eye on the website was Oxford Street. It looks like a really beautiful peachy shade. I'm just going to put some of this on because why not? Ooh, and she matches my lipstick beautifully. Oh my god, this smells so good too. Yeah, see? This is why I need Oxford Street because they're just lovely Ooh, they look so good and they're comfortable to wear yep i want one of these these have five star reviews five stars okay only three people have rated it but i think that is a well-deserved five stars and i should rate shit that i use on this website i never do okay kevin aquan mm, 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 mm. so there was some, this is hard. There's a new shade of this. This is a glass glow face illuminator. And this is essentially a face gloss. It's a big tube of face gloss. And as a dry skin girl, I, like I knew I could never, ever, ever use this when I had oily skin. Uh, but when my skin changed, I was kind of like, oh, one day I should, I should try that one day. Um, and then I had uh, a wisdom tooth removed. I was on really heavy painkillers and um, I bought it. <laughs> you know, you, you know what it's like when something happens and it just makes justifying stuff like that really easy. Well, anyway... They have a new shade. Uh, this one is Cosmic Flame. It's $51. This has a 4.5 star rating with 23 reviews. Um, and I think... Look, I really like it. I know there would be a shitload of people that would hate this. If you have oily skin, don't even go there, hun. Um, but if you've got dry skin, it can be a game changer with like wearing it under your foundation or even on its own. I really like the look of this one, but I don't think I would actually be able to wear it. I think this would be so much better suited to deeper skin tones, I would imagine. But God, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. 
I want it. I really want it. Oh, and this. I don't even... Look. <laughs> I don't even know what this smells like. And I want this. This is a NARS Audacious Fragrance. The Essence of Audacity. Uh, it's $288. No one has reviewed this. We don't know what this is. Literally. It's, it's like Vanta Black in a Bottle. That's what they make it look like. But it's not really. It's just a black coloured perfume. Um, I want this. I want this. I want to try this. I want to smell it. I believe Mimi... I believe she said that she had smelt it and she wasn't like overly impressed. I think. Mimi, if I'm putting words into your mouth and they're the wrong words, feel free to be like, bitch... Bitch, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's amazing. Or no, it's crap. Or something. Something. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like I want this because black. I love it. More Nars. Nars is a brand I love very much. And I would buy... I do buy a lot of Nars. And I plan on buying more Nars in the future. Uh, one of the items is a Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is on my wish list for fucking years. Um, we all know that this is like a cult product by this point. 4.6 stars, 2200 reviews on the Mecca website. It's obviously well loved, so I have to buy it at some stage. And I would buy more Nars stuff, but the problem is they just release so much orgasm. So much orgasm, orgasm X, orgasm fucking Y, Z, like so much orgasm. If they branched their way out into things that weren't orgasm or Laguna, because let's face it, how much Laguna and orgasm can you really have? Um, I would buy more of their shit. They're always on my radar when they bring out a face palette because I'm always like, hey, if there's colors in there that isn't orgasm, I'm going to buy it just for the principle. Um, and also eyeshadow palettes. I'm always on the hunt for new NARS eyeshadow palettes. They're some of my favorites these days. Okay, I have something stupid from Too Faced here. This is the dumbest thing in my cart. There's been some dumb shit in this cart, but this is by far the dumbest. It's the Sun Puppy Bronzer. <laughs> Why is it $50? It's 14 grams of product. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of product. Um, this has good reviews too. I reckon this would be like really red toned and not work for me at all. But it's cute and it's stupid and I love it. I want it. It's limited edition. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it because there are better ways I can spend my $50. And I definitely don't need a bronzer that I probably won't be able to use. Doesn't mean I don't want it. Oh, okay, okay. We need to have a little discussion about Ray Morris. So Ray Morris makes makeup brushes. Um, and I own quite a few of her makeup brushes. Now, she recently went from um, making natural hair brushes to synthetic hair brushes. And uh, they, they claim that the synthetic bristles mimic natural bristles perfectly, basically. The price hasn't really changed on the brushes, um, but they're now synthetic rather than natural hair. Because I already own a whole bunch of Ray Morris brushes, I want to try the synthetics and compare them to her old natural hair brushes. Um, but, and here's where things get tricky because I feel like that could be a good video to actually like, you know, compare what I've got to um, their now synthetic counterpart. But over my dead body, am I gonna spend like 80, 170, 105, $145 on synthetic brushes? No. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Um, but the brushes that are on my list are the number eight medium point shader. So this is $80. Uh, 
Uh, the Pro Powder, this is $170. I have it in the natural hair bristles. Oh my god, it's one of the best, most silky soft cloud kiss brushes that I own. It's amazing. Um, the Deluxe Kabuki, this is $105. I don't actually own this one, I just think it's like an interesting brush. And the Liquid Foundation number 23, this is $145. Whew! I also don't have this in... I don't think this was ever a natural hair brush though. I can't be 100% sure. Then there's a Deluxe Point Shader. This is the number 7. I do have this in the natural hair. It's $85. The small oval shadow is the 11.1. .1. I think I have this or I just have the 11. I don't know. doesn't matter. This is $80. Uh, Mini Radiance is $145. The Deluxe Pro Blender, this is a number six. It's $95. I'm pretty sure I love this brush so much that I bought two of them. So I would really love to um, compare the synthetics to the natural, uh, but I just, uh, I, don't, I don't make enough money to do that. I, d I don't, I don't. I would not be able to eat or pay my bills for a month longer than a month that's that's a lot of money that's a, a lot of money a lot oh i spotted this brush and i was like should i buy this right now <laughs> this is the smashbox angled powder brush this is 54 dollars. i don't know how big this would be in person but i kind of like the look of it like if this is little i if this is little i want to use it to apply concealer and foundation in like small areas. I know they say it's a powder brush, but like, don't tell me what to do. It would be a lovely highlight brush. I know that much. Good for like setting under the eye. How big is it? I want it. I might have to just buy this one day. Maybe I should wait until I can see it in store because then I can be like, oh, it's, it's bigger than I expected or whatever. But I probably do it. And that is it. That is my Mecca Fantasy cart. Uh, my total is a lot. $3,768. Jesus. Uh, there were a couple of things I couldn't add to my cart. A couple of Ray Morris brushes were out of stock. One was $145. One was $95. The By Terry T to Tan. That was definitely out of stock. And I think some of the Sol de Janeiro products as well. So maybe around $4,000. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but that's it. That's it. It's a lot. It's so much. Even if I had $4,000, I'd probably buy a couple of things that I'm like, oh yeah, I really want that. Um, but I w wouldn't... No. No, I wouldn't spend that much. Not on beauty products. Not at this stage. I'd invest it. It's what I like to do now. I like makeup, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, I'm still buying it. I'm just not buying as much as I used to. And I think that's fantastic. I love it, I'm happy, I'm happy. Um, but we can fantasize, and I will continue to fantasize about my Mecca fantasy cart. If you guys have actually tried any of the items that was featured in this video, let me know what you thought about them. Were they great? Were they not so great? Worth their price tag? Not worth their price tag? Let me know because that might help me kick some things off my list and stop being curious about them. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.